Friends, in this video, we are about to discuss the solution to numerical problem 13 from chapter 1 of Newton ISC Physics. The problem says that we have got two point charges, one of 1 microcoulomb and another of minus 0.2 micro minus 0.25 microcoulomb, which are placed at a distance of uh, 0.40 meter apart from each other. And we are required to find out a point on the line joining the two charges. Where should a third charge be placed so that no force is experienced by that particular charge, friends? So this problem is uh, interesting and little bit challenging because it will be involving the basic sense of uh, uh, directions. Then only you can understand where the charge must be placed. So friends, let's see how this particular numerical must be proceeded. So friends, let's consider these two charges. Let me take this as uh, the first charge of one microcoulomb, and then I have got another charge. And uh, let's say this is of minus 0.2 microcoulomb. They are placed at a distance of, as per the problem, the distance happens to be 0.4 meter. And the question asks me where should I place a third charge? on the line joining the two charges so that the net force experienced by that particular charge will be zero. So friends, uh, let me just extend this line, the line that joins the two charges. So you can see this blue color line is the line which is which indicates the line joining the two charges. Now there are three specific regions. Let me call this region as the first region where I can place my charge. This happens to be the my second region where I can place my charge and this happens to be my third region where I can place the charge. Let's begin our discussion by placing the charge at the or uh, in between the two charges. So this is the charge. Let's say the charge that I am car carrying is of uh, positive nature and its magnitude happens to be Q0. Let me say I place this plus Q0 charge somewhere in between the two charges. So, there is a charge of one microcoulomb, let me call this charge as A, and then I have got another charge, minus 0.25 microcoulomb, let me call this charge as charge B. The A coulomb, or the charge at A is going to be rippling charge Q0 because both the charges are of positive. So, charge at A is going to repel this particular charge and I am drawing this repulsive force. It is going to push charge Q0. So this is the force that A applies on Q0. It is a repulsive force. Whereas the force that B is going to apply on Q0, B is a negative charge. So the force that B applies on Q0 is going to be of attractive in nature so it's going to pull charge q naught so this is the force that b applies on q naught so if you see both of these forces that is that a applies on q naught and that the force that b applies on q naught they act in the same direction and since they are acting in the same direction friends there is not a possibility that the net force will be zero because in order to have the net force zero i need both the charges must cancel out so if net force has to be zero then both charges sorry but both forces must cancel out each other but if I have placed the charge in between both forces will act in the same direction and what is that direction friends? That is the positive x axis or simply you can say i cap direction and hence 
they can't cancel out each other so it's not possible to have a net force zero if i place the charge in between the two charges so what is the next possibility the next possibility that can arise is that i place the charge in the region number 1 then what will happen friends this is a positive charge there is also a positive charge q not so a will repel q not so it is going to push q not away so this repulsive force of a on q not is going to act in this particular direction so this is the force that a applies on q not now the force that b applies on q not b being a negative charge q not being a positive charge b will attract q not so it will pull q not towards itself so the force that b applies on q not is going to be acting along the positive x axis so force that b applies on q not is going to act along the positive x axis so i can have the possibility that in region 1 the net force can be zero but if you look charge placed at a is of larger magnitude and q not is placed closer to a so this force that a applies on q not will always be of larger magnitude why larger let's listen to it once again the charge which is placed at a is of 1 micro coulomb which is in much larger magnitude if you see it's 1 it's 0.25 micro coulomb that is you can say it is minus 1 by 4 micro coulomb so you can see this force is greater so this charge is greater in magnitude with the charge which is placed at b so the force depends upon two factor coulombian force depends upon two factor what are the four those two factor force is directly proportional to magnitude of charges that is q1 and q2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance now you can see this particular charge is of larger magnitude and it is also placed closer this charge q not is placed closer to a so the magnitude of force a and the magnitude of force a the force that a applies on q not will be greater whereas the force that b a, b applies on q not is going to be smaller why because the magnitude of b itself is smaller and it is also placed farther away so you remember as we move away from the charge the magnitude of the force used to decrease so this this magnitude is also going to decrease hence though both the forces are going to be of opposite but the magnitude of 1 will be always greater than the magnitude of 2 so that's not possible in the region 1 also to have net force zero so in region 1 do both the forces opposite in nature but f that is the force that a applies on q not is greater in magnitude than force that b applies on q not thus they cannot cancel each other and they will always be a net force directed towards negative x axis or 
left side or left side or minus i cap so whatsoever direction sense you want to mention you can mention it now let's see about the region number 3 in region 3 if i am placing this charge q naught then the charge at a this charge at a is going to ripple this is a positive charge this is also a positive charge so it will ripple q naught and the force of repulsion will act towards the positive x axis let me call this force as f a q naught now i have got another charge that is the charge at b now this charge at b being a negative charge is going to attract q naught so this is going to pull q naught towards itself now what you can see that this let me write it down as force that b applies on q naught now this force that b applies on q naught can be of larger magnitude because though this magnitude of q naught is uh, sorry the magnitude of charge at b is smaller but q naught lies closer so there can be a possibility since this is lying closer the force will be this force that b applies on q naught can outbalance or can equate now the force that a applies on q naught so in the region number three it is possible that the net force acting on q naught becomes zero once again i what whatsoever, whatsoever i have said i'm just reiterating it force that is going to act on q naught due to a will be repulsive force and a is going to push q naught away whereas the force that b applies this is the b charge this is the b charge and b applies on q naught will be attractive in nature why because b being a negatively charged particle it's going to attract q naught towards itself and this force will be of greater in magnet or it's going to be of uh, greater magnitude because this charge lies closer to charge at b so now there is a possibility where these two forces can equate each other and the net force can be zero so that's the reason why in the region 3 i can have net force 0 so net force can be 0 in region 3 because both the forces what both forces force that A applies on Q naught and force that B applies on Q naught are oppositely directed and since Q naught lies closer to B it is now possible that force B force that B applies on Q naught becomes equal to force that A applies on Q naught so that's the reason why in the region number 3 I am going to have the net force 0 now let's try to find out that distance now friends the force that A applies on Q naught will be given by the formula this is the Coulombian force formula 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square you all are well aware of this particular formula this formula is obtained from Coulomb's law so this comes from Coulomb's law so I'm going to apply this formula over here so the force that A applies on q naught will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is the constant k so this this particular thing i am writing down as k so k q1 being 1 micro coulomb 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and q2 being 
on the second charge q not being simply q not coulomb upon what's the distance between these two let me call this distance as uh, as x then this distance will be 0.4 plus x ka whole square because the distance between this point to this point happens to be 0.4 <coughs> that is the distance between a and b similarly with the help of uh, coulomb's law the force that b applies on q not will be k now this charge happens to be 0.25 into 10 to the power of minus 6 remember in this formula q1 and q2 are the magnitude of the two charges friends we do not take the sign of the charges do remember this fact q naught upon what the distance between these two charges now this distance happens to be x so upon x square now this force is directed towards right positive x axis towards right i cap whatever you want to call it as this force is directed towards negative x axis or minus i cap now since both the forces are equal in magnitude at um, both the forces are of uh, of uh, directed opposite to each other so they can cancel out each other and if they are cancelling out each other in that case the magnitude of both the forces must be equal so what i can do i can equate these forces now so in order to cancel or in order to have net force zero as the question requires that no net force should act the net force to be zero f a q naught must be equals to f b q naught so i am going to equate both the forces now k q naught 10 to the power of minus 6 upon 0 0.4 plus x ka whole square is going to be equal to k 0 0.25 can be written as 1 by 4 into 10 to the power of minus 6 q naught upon x square now k and k cancels out q naught into 10 to the power of minus q naught q naught cancels out 10 to the power of minus 6 10 to the power of minus 6 cancels out so what i am left with 1 upon 0 0.4 plus x whole square equals to 1 upon 4 x square now there is a piece of advice to all of you there are two ways of approaching you to solve this particular problem what you can do you can square this whole entire equation you can cross multiply and then square it and out the equation and then you can try to solve it out but remember friends try to avoid making a quadratic equation always convert quadratics to linear equation and that will always help you to solve the problem easily so from here i can write it down this as 4x square is equals to 0 0.4 plus x whole square what i have done i simply cross multiply it out this i have sent on this end and this i have sent on to this end so now what i am going to have are taking roots on both sides taking a square root both sides So this will give me 2x is equals to 0 0.4 plus x and then transferring this so x comes out to be 0 0.4 meter. So what does the answer suggest? It should be in the region 3 at a distance of 0 0.4 meter from the charge B. So 0 0.4 meter from charge B or minus 0.25 micro coulomb charge. So that's how the solution to this particular problem can be achieved. Thank you so much friend. friends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give a like or comment. अगर अभी तक आपने मेरे इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज डू द सेम डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट व्हेनेवर अ न्यू वीडियो इज लोडेड यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन टेक केयर एंड वी विल मीट बैक अगेन 
with a new video and a new solution. Thank you friends.